been in Cuba in 1930 or something, we would have danced that. Bit of a golden chops there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're very pleased because joining us is Mr. Robert S uh, Smith from The Cure, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. <laughs> We are very happy that you're here. Now, um, earlier on, when we, you first came, you said, well, this is probably the first television we've done for quite a while, because uh, you're on MTV and all that all the time, mm. but you don't come and do the television much, but what you do, and the band like doing, is watching it. Apparently, yeah. You told me that. They told you that. Yes. What yeah. sort of things... Well, you're we watch, like, QVC and football. We're not likely to be on that. QVC? Is that the shopping channel? Yeah. <laughs> Have you That's ever... what we've been doing all this time. Have you ever bought anything from the shopping channel? Uh, I've never seen anything that really takes my fancy yet, but I'm sure it's there. Stay tuned in. Lurking. And, and the right yeah. thing is going to turn up. Um, when you grew up, what was the thing that you were listening to? Uh, first thing I remember is Rolling Stones in the early 60s, and then Jimi Hendrix. They're my two overriding memories. And they were the things that sort of led you into wanting to sort of play and write and things? Um, with Hendrix, yeah. I, I liked his songwriting rather than his... Like everyone else seemed to like his guitar playing, but I liked his songwriting. Mm. I liked his voice. Yeah. I liked his voice as well. Apparently he didn't like his voice, did he? He used to hide away when he was doing his vocals. Is that true? Yeah. I copied him even in that. Now, is it true that you used to wear velvet dresses to school? Just once. <laughs> On one occasion I did, yeah. What sort of response did you, did you get? Uh, I got... Well, I was going to like what was supposed to be a progressive school, and I was just testing the water. And um, correct. The, the teachers left me alone, but the other pupils didn't take too kindly, and a couple of them beat me up. So I didn't wow. wear it again. It was a life lesson. Interesting experience. Yeah, yeah. A, a very interesting lesson. And so. So now I just wear them at home. I'm all watching QVC. What could yeah. be more enjoyable? Uh, and there's no law. It's hard to think of anything more enjoyable. <laughs> the thing that I think, as well as being a great, great British group, you're also known for always having very good videos. Yep. Visually, you've always been good, let's put it that way. Yeah. Now, the new album, Wild Mood Swings, I believe it started off as an acoustic album, is that right? Yeah. And how did it change into a thing? We plugged in. Hey, cool. <laughs> <laughs> nice point. <laughs> is it true that you recorded, I can't believe it's true, that you recorded a lot of the album in Jane Seymour, the popular person <laughs> in Hello, yeah. in her Dr. house? Dr Quinn herself, yeah, we did. Honestly, all of it. I, I slept in her bed and washed occasionally in her bath. Was she in either of those places when this was going on? Uh, no. But w I think a bit of an explanation is owed to the British public. Well, it's just a really nice house and she's in America making Dr Quinn series Does she 19. know that you... <laughs> yeah, she, she was quite happy for us to be there. After the initial kind of bedding in period, mm. when people used to come over and like, look, see if we, you know, what we'd set on fire that week, she was kind of quite happy. Any pictures in Hello? No, but my, my mum and dad came and they actually did a kind of a spoof hello thing with me, kind of lounging stuff, just for my mum and dad's consumption, you know, obviously they would never sell the pictures. Well, all I can say is that we'll all join you down at Jane Seymour's house when you do the next, or wherever you do the next record, and, and we always... Harry Seacombe's house. I'll come. We'll all come. He doesn't know yet. No, so thanks for <laughs> But we know where he lives. First, a British television first. Harry, the next Kerr record will be made in your house. In the meantime, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, let's thank Mr. Robert Smith from The Cure. Thank you very much. Lovely to see you. We will. Of course, it goes without saying, we will be hearing from The Cure a little bit later.